Yes. Good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to IFNG Free Live Lectures. And for tonight, um, of course, this is Friday. Today is Friday, so we have none other than Mama D. Please type in your in the chat box. So, um, hashtag Mama D cares. Um, first and foremost, I would like to say hi to 29 participants in Zoom, and I don't know how many now in Facebook. So yeah, um, don't forget to tag your friends, okay? Uh, for those who are taking IELTS. And please type in, um, where are you um, currently right now? If you're in Saudi or in the Philippines, okay? So let's ring now. I'm excited because it's been a long time since I moderate on Friday soon because it's my off, you know, working as a nurse. Okay, and this is my talk. This is my order. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Mama D. Thank you so much, Sir Jeff. Yes, it's been long. It's been a long time since we last saw you here on the Friday Live. Super the miss ka namin. So, parang ang social naman yata ng coffee, Sir Jeff. Ano ba yun? Parang ang shirt. <laughs> Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to our discussion here at IFNG. Of course, with Elite Intellect Night and tonight we are going to be discussing about the reading, okay? So basically what we're going to be doing is I will be eliciting techniques that you can use for the reading examination and before the end of the program later on, I'm going to be teaching you better ways to recognize true, false, and not given items, no? Kapag ka true, false, or not given na, when we're talking about true, false, or not given, unfortunately, some of the students, they tend to get a little bit um, distressed, right? <laughs> the word to use is distressed, no, when it comes to uh, the reading. Yes, because as I told you during our entire reading discussion for the month of December here at IFNG with Elite Intellect 9, the reading is not one of the easiest subtests anymore. Okay, during our time, okay, circa 2007, 8, and 9, no? The reading is one of the easiest Yes, although right now it's already quite different. Okay, so let me just say hello to our viewers here at Zoom and on Facebook. Please do share this video to your friends for them to be able to watch our live too. Okay, let me just share this one. Okay, hold on. Share, share muna ang inay. Okay. Yes, you can share. So <laughs> while, while waiting. Yeah. So, and for those who are in the Philippines, what's the date now? So we have a promotion with British Council of Philippines. You have until December 12, and then you will just need to pay this for 11,000 pesos. I don't know what's the original price, but I think it's a good offer. Yes, sir, Jeff. It used to be 11,680. So if they're going mm -hmm. to be taking their computer-delivered test with British Council of Philippines, then that would only be 11,000 pesos. So testing period for that is, I think, January to March of 2022. Pa. Guys, no? So you still have up to December 12, uh, 12 okay? To avail of um, the, the, the huge Christmas discount for British Council of Philippines computer delivered test, okay? All right, hinahanap ko yung group ko siya. Okay. So, yes, if you are prepared, why not um, book your exam now? Because it's just the same, you're just prolonging the agony. <laughs> Correct. Just sure you are prepared. Okay. Correct, guys. Not so, the tayong nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Tama. That's true. No? Um, sometimes, kasi the problem of the students when it comes to the IELTS examination is that they're waiting for something. No, Don't wait for a sign. Okay? Uh, some people, oh, I'm waiting for a sign, Sir Joseph. If I'm ready, no, you need to ask yourself, guys, are you really ready for the examination? That's basically it. Okay, wala nang iba. Okay, hi, hashtag Mama D. Thank you po sa inyo. I got my Vansker in writing. Hoy, Jai, congratulations, anak. Are you a viewer of IFNG, regular viewer of IFNG? Yes, no? Oy, thank you naman. Naku, just ko, nakakatuwa naman kayo mga bata kayo. Diba? I wish during nung panahon namin, we have platforms like this. Guys, as I always tell you, you are pretty much blessed with IFNG because everything, okay? Not just Elite Intellect, but the other institutions are here to, to guide you when it comes to your preparation. And we also have international institutions who gives uh, yes po. Sa tuwing my session po, umaaten po ako. Okay, good job, Jai. Congratulations, anak. Yes, guys, no, as I 
always tell you, hi, girly. Okay, as I always tell you guys, you are very much blessed with IFNG. So, no, you would need to keep on working. Okay, keep on working towards that goal because at the end of the day, guys, you are already fortunate because you are given this platform to practice for your speaking, to watch live lectures of different institutions. No, pinatag team na namin kayo. Ewang kulang kundi pa kayo makapasa. Okay, guys, so let's begin with our discussion. Mama D, yung 1 p.m. plus 11 p.m. na class plus IFNG class. Gusto nyo yon? <laughs> Call me Mama D the Owl. Okay. Sabi ko nga, bakit kailangan magpahinga? Wag na. Tsaka na tayo magpahinga. Okay, so let me just open my PowerPoint and share it to you guys. Okay, so tonight we're going to be having a lot of different types of techniques when it comes to recognition on the examination. So welcome to another fun and informative lecture about the IELTS reading brought to you by IFNG and of course, Elite Intellect. Okay, so for those of you who, just, who, has, who has just joined us, hello, I am pleased to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET, NPLEX, and NMCCBT Specialist, PH. I am an IELTS expert for the past 12 years, also known as your Mama D, Mama Dragon, Mother D, Mother Dragon, Mommy D, latang uri ng D, okay? I am half Filipino and half Italiano. Sir? Half Filipino, half Italian? Yes, my my father is Ita and my mom is Ilocano. Combine them together, Italiano. <laughs> Good evening! Okay, good evening. Okay, girly, there we go. Okay, Judy, thank you so much for tagging your friends, guys. Good evening, Mama Catriona. Hello, guys. Hello, e Evo Corpus. Okay, so guys, please do tag your friends. Share this to your friends. You may also share this with your walls, guys, for the students that needs abetting when it comes to their IELTS examination to find our discussion for tonight here at IFNG. Okay, guys, so... Before anything else, okay, Matthew 5, uh, Matthew 5, verse 16. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. This is what I always tell my students every time that they feel down or every time that they are having a hard time grasping at straws with the things that they are doing at the moment. Is that just let your light shine, okay? Every time that you feel confused on the IELTS examination, every time that you feel stressed, depressed, okay, anxiety, Anxiety hits you, the bad. Just let your light shine. At the end of the day, your light will always glorify your Father in heaven. Okay, so blessed evening, everyone. I am so happy to be here to be discussing to you again about our, uh, what do you call this, our reading. Okay, hello, Mama D. Hello, Virgil. Hello, my love. Okay, so let us teach you on how to make your reading examination easier, fun, and systematic. After this discussion, you will love the reading exam. Believe me, guys, okay? Some of the students, when, they were, when we are talking about the reading examination, they tend to not, okay? They tend to, they tend to say, uh-uh, no, 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 the reading is not for me. Okay, now, guys, can you please type, okay, can you please type on the chat box right there here at Zoom or on the comment section of our Facebook Live, the most difficult item type on the reading exam, okay? What do you think is the most difficult item type on the reading exam before we begin with our discussion for tonight? Good evening, Mama D. Buhay na naman ang gabi. Hello, Jane. <laughs> okay, for Naj, it's matching headings, okay? All right. What about the others? True, false, not given. Okay, what about the others? Come on, I want to see. Why do you think the reading is difficult? What's making it difficult? Okay, what is making the reading examination difficult? Okay, for Mila Abubo, okay, you have matching headings. Thank you always for the Bible verse you are sharing with us. You're welcome, girly, my love. Okay, what about the others? Come on. True, false, not given. Okay, matching headings. Yes, no, not given. Matching headings. Okay, don't you worry, my love. Okay, mama got you. Okay, I will be teaching you easier ways to make these item types. Okay, easier on the examination. Okay, so who's ready? Let's begin. Okay, so let me just share my screen. We're going to be doing elite notes again. If you are not yet a member of IFNG, okay, and you would want to get a copy of our... Um, Uh, what do you call this, our notes for tonight, just the, the thing that you can do is for you to just send a message to IFNG, that's IELTS Filipino Nurses Group, for you guys to be added to their group chat, okay? And then automatically after the discussion, this will be sent to the group chat of IFNG. Okay, this is Elite Notes. Let me introduce you to your new best friend, Elite Notes. Okay, <clears throat> for Gel Gaika, all of it. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. 
Um, would you believe me if I tell you that one of my challenges on the IELTS examination before is the reading examination? Yeah, that is one of my challenges. Why, Sir Joseph? Why? Why do you think? Why do you think that the reading is a challenge for you? I mean, hello, you're already a lecturer. But for those of you who does not know, I have dyslexia. Okay, I have an eye condition called dyslexia. Okay, so I don't see letters the way that you do. I don't read, I don't read the way that you do. Okay. When I'm reading letters, they have like other letters right there. Okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, this is the way that I read letters. Okay. So if you're seeing that that like that, I am seeing it like this. Okay, look at that. All right. Look at that, right? So imagine how difficult it is for me to do the reading exam. And I must admit, during my examination, when I was preparing for the IELTS exam, it was quite difficult for me to read given the long, uh, given, given the long uh, passages that I would need to finish on the exam. Yeah, that's making the reading difficult too, is that it has two long passages. Sobrang haba ng passages natin, guys, no? When it comes to reading. Okay, so tonight, I will be teaching you different types of things that you must remember for the reading examination. Let's talk about long passages first, okay? Given that that's the first thing that came into my mind tonight is long passages. Okay, so some of the students, they really do find it difficult for them to fathom the idea of reading long passages, right? Because number one, it tends to get a little bit boring, right? <laughs> Let's admit it, okay? Let's admit it, guys. Nagiging boring, no? Yung reading natin because the passages are way, way too long. Imagine on the IELTS examination, guys, the regular rate of a passage is 800 to 1,200 words, okay? Per passage. All right. So sino ba ang adik dito na pag nagising ng umaga eh nagbabasa ng 1,200 words. Meron po. Not unless if you're a bibliophile, then you are really likely to do that. But then again, for us normal people, we don't do this, right? The moment that we wake up, oh, let me look for 1,200 words and then let me read it. Uh, what a way to start my day. Diba? Just, just scared. Pag ako gumawa nun, ay nako, stress na ako buong araw. ba? Diba? <laughs> And then once you're done, diba? yeah, have short, short attention span. Okay, we're going to be talking about your concerns one by one now. Okay, so first things first, guys, the long passages. Okay, did you know that you do not have to read everything? Okay, you do not have to read everything. Okay, on the examination, as I told you last week, no? On the passages, as I told you last week, you do not have to read everything because basically what I would want you to remember is that you're just there to scan through the ideas and find the synonyms. No? Yung iba kasi they think, oh, since it's a reading examination, I need to read everything. I need to read everything that the reading is expecting me. No, you don't have to, my love. Okay, basically scanning and hunting. Okay, it's the most effective technique. Okay, scanning and hunting. The keywords, okay, the, or the keyword or the keywords is the key to success, okay? Okay, so when you say scanning, scanning and hunting, no? Basically, what I would want you to do is to encircle your keyword and then try to look for the synonym of that on the reading. Guys, the reading does not expect you to read everything and the likes on the examination because that would be a complete waste of time. It's an eye strain. It's an eyesore, okay? One thing that I would want you to remember is it would be enough, okay? It would be enough to read only 20% of the passages. Okay, there you go. Again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, stay to the end of the program because later on, I will be teaching you easy hacks, okay? On how to make your true false not given manageable on the exam, okay? So it would be enough to read only 20% of the passages. You don't have to read everything, okay? I know a lot of students on the examination, they tend to overread. And then when, there's, when, when there is overreading, there is eye strain. When there is eye strain, there is overanalyzing. When there is overanalyzing, there is 6 point, uh, there is 5.5 on the reading. Believe me. No? Okay. Which brings me to the next one, guys. Okay? 
vocabulary is important on the reading too. Okay, some students, they think that vocabulary is only used, okay, for your speaking and writing. Unfortunately, it's not, okay, it's not just applicable for the speaking and writing, okay. What I would want you to remember is that the vocabulary is applicable to the reading too. You need a wide range of vocabulary here, okay. You would need to have need to have a wide range of vocabulary, okay? Because basically, guys, you are hunting down the synonyms, okay? You are hunting down the synonyms, so you would need to widen the range of your vocabulary. Okay, let's say here's an example. I saw a question like this, okay? The key word is soil, okay? The keyword is soil. And then on the passage, the, the word is earth. Okay? Children playing with earth is the passage. If you do not know that earth is directly correlated to the word that is soil and it's its synonym, then you're going to ignore the word earth. No, nakakita na ako lang passage na ganyan. Ang tanong ay, children love playing with soil because blank. And then on the passages, uh, earth is usually played by uh, earth is usually played by the children due to the fact that. So if you are a student who does not know that the word earth could be directly correlated to the soil, then of course, guys, you're not likely to get the answer. As I told you on the flow of reading last week, right? I told you last week if you found the keyword, stop because the answer is within the same sentence. What if you did not even find the keyword in itself? Okay. All right. So we have a question from Michelle Savala. What are the 20% of passage? How do we know that it is important to read? Basically, you're just going to be reading the first, middle, and last sentence of each paragraph. That's it, my child. Okay. That is 20% reading. Okay. What you're doing there is you're familiarizing yourself with the with the with the passages by reading the first sentence middle sentence and last sentence of the paragraph so okay which brings me to the next one familiarize and write okay this is pretty important too okay last week did you remember ati genji one of our senior coaches here at elite intellect you're welcome michelle my love ati genji one of our senior coaches here at elite intellect said that i taught them to write down, okay, I taught them to write down the thematic content of the passages on top of, uh, of, of the paragraph on top of the passages, okay? So familiarize yourself with the content. Okay, so what do you mean by this one, Sir Joseph, okay? So this is 20% reading, as I always tell you guys, no? When we say 20% reading, basically you're going to read the first sentence, Okay, read the first, okay, middle, and last sentence. Okay, and then what you can do is to write the theme of the paragraph. Okay, write the theme of the paragraph. Okay, on top. Okay, guys, mabilis lang gawin to. Basically, you're saving yourself the drama of reading everything. Okay, I'll show you an example. Hold on. Let me just check if I have it here. I find a technique useful po because it's like having a glossary of topics per paragraph. That's true. Thank you so much, Kat. Yes, this is pretty much effective because it's like having like a list of topics, no? So you saw paragraph one is about this one, paragraph two is about this one, no? And then you are already familiarizing yourself with everything. So once you see the question, click. Okay, I think I saw it on paragraph two, girl. Now I'll go there and then I cannot see the answer. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Let me just stop share and check here on my iPad if we I do have the copy of that sample reading right here. Okay, saglit lang po. Okay, all right. So yeah, basically guys, what I would want you to remember here, no, is for you to look significantly at the content of the, or the thematic content of the paragraphs. Okay, I have it here. All right, so let me just share this one. Let me import this and share it. 
Paano ba yun? Diba? Sige, Joseph, gumamit ka pa ng pangmayaman, ha? Hindi mo naman alam gamit. <laughs> Believe me. Okay. All right. Here, I already saw it, guys. Okay, it was, I think, last August. Tama ba? Here it is. Found it. Okay, I'll show you this one, okay? We have used this one before, okay? But let's familiarize ourselves with the theme of the passages, okay? I want you to be interactive with me. Okay, so let me just screen share again. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulty, you know me. I have the body of a 32-year-old, but I have the technical capacity or the technological capacity of a 60-year-old woman. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's take a look at this one, okay? Let's take a look at the first paragraph here, which is paragraph A, okay? So as I told you, 20% of reading entails for you to read the first, middle, and last sentence. And then you would need to write down the thematic content of the paragraphs or, or of the passages on top. Okay, so let's read the first one. Okay, beginning. All right, so here. 25 years ago, children in London walked to school and played in parks and playing fields after school and at the weekend. Okay, so basically, this one is talking about the activities of children in the past. Okay, activities of children in the past. Okay, where? In London. Okay, what else? Let's take a look at the middle. Middle sentence, guys, okay? <clears throat> so, um, meanwhile, community playing fields are being sold off property to property developers at an alarming rate, okay? And then the thematic content of this one is sold properties to developers. Okay, sold properties to developers. Okay, next one, guys. Okay, last one. Last sentence. Let's take a look. Okay. If children uh, continue to be this inactive, they'll be storing up big problems in the future. Okay, so look at this one. Now, this is possible problems in the future for being inactive, okay? Possible prob. Oh, what happened? Okay, possible problem in the future for inactive children. Okay, alam niyo kung ano din problema ng mga estudyante. Kapag ka ganito na yung usapan, ayaw na. No? You would need to dissect the reading, believe me. Okay, so look at that. The thematic content of the first paragraph is about the activities of children in the past in London. It's about the, so, the, the selling of properties to developers. Okay, and of course, the possible problems of inactive children in the future. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, guys. Okay? All right, letter B. Uh, letter B. Okay, let's take a look at this one. In 1985, Professor Armstrong headed a five-year research into the project Children's Fitness. Okay, so this is Professor Armstrong. Okay, and the project Fitness. Okay, let's take a look at the middle paragraph. Okay, middle paragraph, guys. Armstrong adds... Heart is a muscle and needs exercise or it loses the strength, okay? His view about the heart, okay? Heart being a muscle. Diyos ko, kung exercise lang sa heart, eh, sanay na sanay na tayo dyan, di ba? Yung heart natin, sa sobrang kaka-exercise natin, naging manhid na siya. Naging bato na siya. Tarang! <laughs> Ay, I can relate. Sabi ng iba, sino po dito ang samahan ng malamig ang Pasko. Kailangan ng mainit na tsokolate sa Pasko. Papatawan ko kayo. <laughs> okay. So, last one. Okay. High levels of cholesterol, excess body fat in an activity are believed to increase the risk of coronary heart disease. Okay, so I saw here CHD. Risk of CHD, coronary heart disease. There you go. So, Sir Joseph, what are you doing there? 
Okay, basically what I am doing here, guys, is I am familiarizing myself with the theme so that later on when I look at the questions, okay, it's easier for me to know where I might have seen Okay, the questions right there. Mama D, I'm always enjoying while learning because there is no dull moment with you. Keep it up, Mama D. Thank you so much, girly, my love. I, lo I, I, I am so happy that you guys are enjoying my, my, you know, my, you know. <laughs> okay, exercise and brisk walking. Okay, I don't know if this is teaching. What I'm doing is, uh, inuuto ko lang kayo. Charit lang. Okay, next one, guys. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, physical education is under pressure in the UK. Most schools devote little more than 100 minutes uh, minutes a week in the curriculum time, which is less than many other European countries. Okay, so it's talking about PE in the UK. Okay, and how it is different. Okay, as compared to other countries. All right, and then let's take a look at the middle. These findings from the European Europe Physical Education Association prompted specialists in children's physiology, physiology to call European governments to give youngsters daily PE program. And then the last one is from age. Okay, last sentence right here. Gosh, I cannot find the last sentence. This one is actually quite long. Where are you, girl? Okay, from age 6 to 18, British children receive an average of 106, okay, something, something, with only a minority of pupils getting two hours a week. Okay, so this one, guys, is talking about how the PE is different in the UK and how many hours the student are getting. The students are getting. Okay, there we go. All righty. So, <clears throat> tignan nyo to. I'll show you something. Okay, if you're going to be matching this, okay? If you're going to be matching this with okay, the things that we have looked out, uh, the things that we have looked at so far. Do you think one matches health organizations monitored physical activity, health and living condition of children? Okay, comparison of exercise time between UK and other countries. Is there something earlier? Uh, meron ba kayong natatandaan kanina nung nagpapamiliarize lang tayo ng team, ha? When we were just familiarizing with team with the comparison of exercise of the UK between the UK and other countries. If you're going to be going back to the team earlier, meron ba kayong nare-remember na merong comparison? yung exercise ng mga estudyante or physical education ng mga estudyante and the UK, in the UK and other countries? Yes! <laughs> Para tumilaok lang. Yes! Diba? Look at this. Okay, let's go back. All right. PE in the UK and how it is different. Look, it's paragraph C. Diba? So it's easier for you guys just to touch, just to get the point across. Look at that, right? When you are familiarizing yourself with the team, believe me, you don't have to read everything, okay? The IELTS only expects you to read 20% of the passages, and this is a part of doing that. You're only going to be reading the first sentence, middle sentence, and the last sentence of the paragraphs. And automatically, once you see the questions, you can remember details, diba? Right? Nakita nyo? Dahil isinulat natin yung thematic content because we have written down the thematic content right here. Automatically, we were sent to that part right there. Okay, on where, okay, on where, on where the, the content might be, right? So that is a good technique, okay? So going back to our handout earlier, familiarize yourself with the theme of the content, okay, by reading the first, middle, and last sentence, plus write the theme of the paragraph on top. Okay, on top. Okay, that is a good technique. Okay, now, this one. I know a lot of you can relate. Okay, do not litter. Chari. Awesome, I will try it for sure. Good, thank you so much, Michelle. Okay, do not move your mouth when reading. Okay. Um, Sir Joseph, 
what do you mean by not moving my mouth when reading? Okay? Do not move your mouth when reading mga anak, no? Bakit po? Okay. First things first, guys, no? Our re- our speaking rate is way slower as compared to our comprehension rate, no? Basically, just moving your eyes would be enough on the reading exam. And if you're moving your mouth on purpose, you are making yourself slow down when you are reading, okay? So, the speaking rate is slower than comprehension rate. Okay, hold on. Let me just restart this, the, the program right there, okay? Hold on, guys. Okay, so... Naalala ko ang turo ng Ma'am Zeya. Kapag ka nagaganyan daw yung Apple Pencil, i-restart mo. Okay. The our speaking rate, okay, is slower than our comprehension rate. Okay? So, if you are moving your eye, if you are moving your mouth, no? If you're moving your mouth when reading on purpose, you are making yourself slow down. Believe me. Pinapabagal mo yung sarili mo kapag kaganyan ka. Ano? Yung iba bumubulong-bulong. Akala mo nagtatawag ng kung ano-anong maligno. Diba? Sa reading yung panagbabasa. Right? On the exam, you're moving your mouth and then you're saying a lot of things, right? Guys, believe me, you're on purpose making yourself slow down when you're doing that. Don't read it by mouth. Read it with your eyes, okay? That's good. Thank you, girly. Okay? Do not read it by mouth, okay? But rather, you should read it with your eyes. Okay, so here's an effective technique for you to force yourself to read faster. Okay, let me teach you. Okay, the, rather you should read it with your eyes. Okay, all right. So ituturo ko sa inyo on how to force yourself to read faster on the exam. Okay, so force yourself to read faster. What? Sir Joseph, I am a habitual slow reader. I cannot force myself to read faster. Oh, believe me, my love. I have had students who are habitual slow readers, but now their reading is actually quite commendable. Okay, so here, force yourself to read faster. Okay, uh, how do we do that, Sir Joseph? How do we read faster on the exam? First things first, you're going to use your pencil as a pointer. Okay, use your pencil as a pointer. Okay, you can use your pencil as a pointer and then you're going to point faster and let your eyes follow the pencil. By doing this, guys, believe me, by using your pencil as a pointer like that, look at me, hello, I'm here, look at me, guys, okay? By using your pencil as a pointer like that, you are forcing your eyes to read with the pencil, okay? Believe me, this one works, pero wag addict, guys, ha? Baka mamaya drugs ka, ganito ang gawin mo sa exam. Ganun ka kabilis magbasa, ano ka? Si mo, Jacqua? Diba? Okay, just this one, okay? Just a regular rate. Force yourself to read faster by using your pencil as a pointer on the test. Again, force yourself to read faster by using your pencil as a pointer on the test. And of course, guys, it always helps for you to read every single day. I felt attacked. <laughs> okay. All right, it means our eyes can read faster than our mouth. So we don't need to read it by our mouth. Actually, well, reading it with our eyes rather than read it with, yes. Totoo yan. No, that's true, girl. That's very much accurate, okay? Force yourself. Use your pencil as a pointer. I always do this. Nakikita na mga isudyante ko to. On the physical class at Elite Intellect, when they attend and they have their writing checked by me, 
Okay, that's what I do. Okay, I, I use my pencil as a pointer, okay, for me to look at their essays. No, tapos ang bilis ko mabilugan na gano'n. Constant practice, guys. This could actually increase you to uh, plus 400 words per minute. No, if you're doing that, if your reading rate is at, uh, let's say, 300 words per minute, imagine if you can, if you're forcing yourself to read faster, you are already at 700 words per minute. No, 700 words per minute. So the entire reading passage, you can read it for just like what? Two minutes, right? Two minutes. Okay, so do that. Oh, there's no sound. Hello, do I have a sound? Let me just check on my monitor. Okay, I have a sound, I think. Okay, all righty. Okay, moving on, guys. <clears throat> all right, what else? Okay. All right, what else should you be doing on the examination or on the reading examination? Okay, focus. Okay, I'll teach you a technique that I do or I tell my students to do. Um, for them to, uh, what do you call this, take care of their short attention span. Okay, focus, stop, focus. Okay, this is what we call focus, stop, focus. Okay, sir, what do you mean by focus, stop, focus? Guys, believe me, we're humans. Once you spend like three minutes, four minutes, or five minutes just reading the entire passage, you tend to lose your attention. No, your mind tends to go elsewhere. So what I always tell my student is that you're going to read a sentence Okay, or read two sentences. Okay, after that, you are going to stop. Okay, and then after stopping, you're going to read two sentences again. Okay, what it does is it's actually programming your mind not to be continuous on that particular boring topic right there. No, so you're going to be reading two sentences and then after reading the two sentences, you're going to stop. Okay, just as for a split second. Two sentences, stop. Two sentences, stop. Two sentences, stop. Because if you're doing this sentence, 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 On the seventh sentence, believe me, your mind is already on the gutter, okay? You're on the gutter, madumi, yung utak mo, charing. Your mind is already out of the out of, uh, out of the laser light focus when it comes to your reading. So, two sentences, stop. Another two sentences, stop. Another two sentences, stop on the examination so as to ensure that you are keeping yourself focused on the reading. Diba? Mm, my gosh, Sir Joseph, let me try that. Go, go, go. Try mo lang yan. Galingan mo, ha? Okay. All right, what else? What is the next thing that I want, I, I tell my students to do on the exam, okay? Do not expect to understand everything. Okay, yes. Have you ever experienced this? Let me just make a quick survey, okay? Have you experienced this? When you are on your reading examination and you're reading the passages, you feel like it's a big blur. Like, it's just a blur, okay? You, you cannot understand anything or you cannot understand everything that the reading is telling you. Have you encountered that before, my children? Diba? Meron. Meron ako nakaka-relate dito. Like, when you're reading, it's like a big blur. I mean, I'm seeing words, but I'm not And, but I'm not absorbing what, it, what it's saying. Okay, at the Gen G, she experiences that. What about the others? Like when you're reading, you, you feel like, oh, I cannot understand it. I am seeing the words, but I cannot get the entire content of the reading. Who? 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 Yes, there you go. If you are experiencing that, my love, believe me, you're doing it correctly. Okay, again, if you are experiencing that on the reading exam, believe me, you are doing it correctly. Tama yung ginagawa mo. The examination expects us to see it as a blur. Because basically, you don't need to understand all the contents of the exam. Rather, you should only be looking at the words rather than the entire content in general. So if you are experiencing that, that you're reading and it's like a big blur to you, you're doing it correctly. because you don't need to understand the concept of the entire paragraph. Rather, you should just be looking at the words themselves. Okay? Alrighty, diba? 
me mama then i will reread again iba naman na yo regression na yung tawag doon no you are rereading when you're when you're trying to remember what i'm saying is when you're trying to remember the context or when you're trying to put the context together you're like mm, i don't really get what is this about so yeah that's what the exam expects of you Okay, that's what the exam expects of you. It's for you to see it as a big blur because you don't have to focus on the content of the paragraph itself. It's useless for you to remember the content of the paragraph, but rather what you should be doing is you should be looking at the words rather than the entire context itself. That is the reading exam. Yan ang reading exam, guys, no? Guys, believe me, when you are on the reading, what I would want you to remember is for you to always challenge yourself to focus on the words rather than the entire context itself. Okay? All right, let me write it down here. Focus on the words. Rather than... the entire context itself at the end of the day guys this is a synonym hunting activity oops i think i may have erased all of it okay at the end of the day guys this is a synonym hunting activity okay So don't focus on the entire context itself, but rather you should be just focusing on the words. Well, Mama D, that info is so gold. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. You're welcome, Kat. Okay. All right. You're welcome, Hazel. Okay, look at that, right? Yeah. That's gold standard when it comes to reading is so that you don't need to understand everything. Now, let's take a look at the item that you really hate the most. Mo moat. Okay. <clears throat> So let's just take a look at the comments on Facebook. <clears throat> yeah, what I'm doing is scanning. That's correct, JR. Good. Okay, I thought pag reading kailangan basahin lahat as in. Thanks sa mga lifesaver tips. You're welcome, Michelle. Yeah, you don't have to read everything, guys. Because did, did you know that when you read everything on the exam, most likely you will be confused or you will overanalyze. Whereas it's just a synonym hunting activity in reality. Okay? You just have to hunt down for the synonyms. Now, let's take a look at your favorite topic of all the formats of the IELTS. Okay? All right. So let's start with the first one, okay? Ito talaga, when this is the topic, some of the students, they tend to uh, quip, okay? This is your true, false, not given. Okay, ito na, guys. Mm, if you have not invited your friends yet and you think they're having a hard time with true, false, not given, believe me, invite them now here on our Facebook Live or on our Zoom meeting. Okay, true, false, and not given. Okay, guys, let's talk about true first, okay? How can you tell if an item is true? Okay. Or yes. Okay. How can you tell if the item is true or yes? On the examination, guys, you will be able to tell that this one is true or yes if the words are paraphrased Okay, if the words are paraphrased to confuse you, okay? Yeah, always ito, observe nyo. When you're looking at the items which are true, right? When you're looking at the examination of the items which are true, sometimes they are paraphrased or they are changed significantly, okay, to confuse you, okay? But if you're going to be looking at the context, the context matches exactly. Okay, the context matches exactly. All right, so there are two things that you would need to look at for true, true, false, not given. First things first, you would need to look at the question and then you look at the passage. Okay, I'll give you an example of this one. Let's say here on the question you saw.
Okay, let's take a look at the sample question, okay? Children are fond of playing with soil because they are experimenting, okay? And then you will see here on the passage, you might see something like this. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at this one, guys, okay? Children are fond of playing with soil because they are experimenting. Okay, that is the one on the question. And then let's take a look at the passage. The young see aspects of exploration when they are playing with dirt, which explains their fascination. Eh? Okay, uh, sir, I know it's quite synonymous, okay? Mama D, what if they were being paraphrased, but still uh, not the answer? Do they tend to confuse us? Yeah. Okay, if they are being paraphrased and still they're not, they do not match with the answer, they're, that's the main purpose is for them to confuse you. Usually it's not given, not a true. Okay, so let's take a look at this one, guys. Okay, children are fond of playing with soil because they are experimenting. And then in the passage, the young see aspects of exploration when they are playing with dirt, which explains their fascination. Okay, let's take a look at this one. All right, let's match. Children, the young. Fond, fascination, okay, playing, playing, experimenting, exploration, they can match, okay, what else, dirt, soil, all of these things are matching exactly with one another, so if you're going to look at that, guys, automatically, this is true, okay, even if they change the words, believe me, even if they change the words, it will always be true if the context is still the same. Okay? All right. Diba? Madali lang hanapin ang true. Okay. Before we move on with our discussion, let me just show you something quickly. I am excited for this. Okay. Pretty excited for this. Okay. So... Jingle bells, jingle bells, single ka pa rin, di ba? <laughs> Malamig ang Pasko, nag-IELTS at nag-USA. Okay, so, Sir Joseph, what is this? Why are you saying jingle bells, jingle bells, single ka pa rin? Malamig ang Pasko, nag-IELTS, nag-USA. Okay, because guys, this is now our Christmas Unlimited Review promo at Elite Intellect 9. I would like to introduce and officially launch our Christmas Unlimited Review promo here at IFNG, which is 50% off your IELTS preparation courses, okay? So, Sir Joseph, it is a limited IELTS review for life, free materials, free preparation book, free 800 plus writing compilation, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching in speaking and writing, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching with grammar, pronunciation, and vocabulary, free pre-assessment and final assessment, unlimited computer-delivered mock examinations, flexible schedules for international and domestic students, because here at Elite, we have two main classes for the day. We have 1 p.m. and 11 p.m. So wherever you are all over the globe, those schedules are pretty much fit for your needs and we also have the recorded platform with which if you missed your discussion on that day you can just replay that because it's automatically uploaded on the same day we have the live classes the recorded uh, live classes plus free exam scheduling assistance plus free final coaching with mama d sir how much is your christmas promo at elite intellect nine okay so get the unlimited ielts review for only three thousand five hundred instead of paying seven thousand five hundred that is 
is like what 55 percent off from 75 uh, from 7500 you're only going to be paying 3500 for your IELTS review but it gets better if you're going to be enrolling as a group of trend friends three and above three and above get the review for only 3000 pesos per student no my gosh it could not, not have been better than this no kalahati agad ang tanggal unlimited review lifetime validity okay and of course if you're going to be taking the oet okay the oet review from 8000 pesos for only 3999 for students and of course since our batch 22 is about to open this december 20 for our nclex and cbt cluster unlimited lifetime validity NCLEX review for only 6,500 from 25,000 pesos. So look at that. IELTS 3.5, okay? OET uh, 3,999. NCLEX is 6,500 for unlimited review. Okay, so it also on the IELTS, if you're going to be enrolling as a group of three and above, you're only going to be getting the review for only 3000 per student. Okay, so Sir Joseph, how can I... Oh, guys, by the way, the deadline of our promo will be on the 20th of December, although we only open 50 slots here for the Christmas promo. So 50 slots on promos, it goes like a blink of an eye. So what should you do? You may inquire, okay, and save yourself a slot at our Facebook page. That is Elite Intellect 9.0. Just search that on Facebook. Or you may click the link that Sir Joseph, uh, that Sir Jello has sent on the chat box right there and also has sent at the comment section of our, uh, what do you call this? Of our... Um, <laughs> of our comment section of our live video right now. You can also contact us at our WhatsApp number. That's plus six three nine one six six nine seven two nine nine four. Okay, so yeah, guys, no? If you're going to be looking at that, all right? If you're going to be looking at that, this is our way to say thank you for all the students of IFNG who has um who has been with us, okay, all throughout the year, no? So from 7,500, you can only get the review for as low as 3,000 if you are group of three and above. So send a message on our Facebook page right now, okay? So guys, while you're doing that, let me just call on Ati Genji, okay? Okay, let me just call on Ati Genji real quick, okay? Because I'm just going to be drinking some water for like five minutes. Okay, Ati Genji, okay. any tips with the students when it comes to their reading examination? Hi, mother. I miss you. Okay, hello, everybody. Hi, this is your Ati Genji, your sister dragon. So uh, if there's anything that um, I may say about the English language. Hi, Sir Jeff. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Okay. So, uh, if there's anything that I, I may say about the uh, the reading examination, uh, it is that uh, it is one of the hardest one for me. Though I uh, I've been telling you that I am a bibliophile, but when I came across the mock examination for reading, guys, I was disappointed because. Um, I got low scores. And uh, what made me, um, hello, Virgil. Okay, what made me um, somehow increase or uh, level up my reading uh, examination scores was the thing that um, Mother D uh, shared with us during our lectures. And the three top um, tips that I was able to use was um, the get the theme. Okay, as I told you before, guys, I know. Um, right now, whenever I would be seeing articles, even though it's not an uh, IELTS reading examination, it's a habit for me to somehow summarize everything. Okay, guys, baka sabihin nyo minsan kasi baka uh, uh, ang hirap na nga mag-isip, baka mag may hirapan pa tayong mag-isip ng uh, ano ba yung English ano, sa mga team na yun. So what I did was that Kahit Tagalog, sinusulat ko siya. Bisa nilalagay ko lang siya on the side na uh, ito yung theme ng paragraph na yon or ng passage na yon. And it helped me. Uh, going back to, let's say, I have a question for the synonyms or anything for the matching headings. Now, I have the theme, the topic on the side. Now, aside from that would be the, yun nga, uh, I have this uh, wild imagination. Sometimes my ima uh, I cannot focus. So the Sentence, sentence, top of Mother D. It helped me a lot, guys. So better do that in the examination. And the last thing is 
um, I, what I did was to really uh, be somehow have a lot, uh, look for the synonyms. And those are the, th uh, the top three that I could share with you that has made my uh, reading, uh, reading band score increase. Okay, Mamadi, take the floor again. Thank you, guys. Thank By you signing so off with Mr. Dragon. Thank Hi. you, Sister Dragon. Okay, that's Ate Genji, one of our tenured coaches here at Elite Intellect. And like you guys, she used to be a student of Elite Intellect 9, no? <clears throat> so yeah, like what she said right there is that you're going to be, uh, what do you call this, writing down the theme and then the sentence, sentence, pause, sentence, sentence, pause is always very, 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 very utterly effective with the students who cannot focus on the reading exam, no? If you are a student who find it difficult to focus, do the sentence, sentence, pause, sentence, sentence, pause, believe me, it will work wonders, okay? So for those of you who are still inquiring, go to our Facebook page right there. You will see the link of Elite Intellect Night at the comment section of our live video on Facebook and also at the chat box of our Zoom meeting for tonight. Okay, I'll see you in class very soon. All right, moving back to our discussion tonight, guys. Okay. All right, so Mama, what about false items? Okay, false, okay. For false items, guys, no, here's one thing that you would need to remember for false, okay? All right. False or no, okay? All right, first things first is that uh, some of the words are the same, okay? Some of the words or some words are the same, okay? Basically, parang pareho yung ibang word na makikita nyo dito. Parang, hmm, they look quite similar. They look quite similar. So I think this is true. No, it's not. Unfortunately, it's a false, okay? So this is the number one trick that the IELTS does to confuse the students is that for false guys, what they're going to do is they're going to be writing down the sentences similar to one another, okay? Similar to one another or similar to each other on the passage and on the question. But then again, if you're going to be looking at the context, okay, the context does not match at all no hindi nagma-match yung context niya no it does not match at all okay so i'll give you an example here okay all right here we go all right let's say this is the question again okay i think my laptop is way too high for my face right now kapag ka gumagano na ako nakikita niyo na yung rooftop <laughs> You're seeing the rooftop. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So for the question, here we go. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this one. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at the question and the passage, guys, okay? Look at this one. Dr. Kamar traveled to Canada to author a book about endemic birds. 
Dr. Kamar traveled to Canada to author a book about endemic birds. And then in the passage, you saw the book about endemic birds was published by Dr. Kamar when he traveled to Canada. We're like, what are you talking about, Sir Joseph? These two are matching exactly. They're the same. That's not a false, Sir Joseph. Nah, ah, ah, girl, you're wrong, Joseph. You're stupid. It's actually true. If you're going to be looking carefully at the words right there, okay, let's match them, okay? All right. So we have Dr. Kamar, Dr. Kamar, okay? All right, what else? In de um, traveled, traveled, Canada, Canada. Okay, what else? Book, book, endemic birds, endemic birds. But look at this one, guys. Author and published, they're different. They're totally different. And if you have limited range of vocabulary, it is unlikely for you to get this one, right? authored and published are quite the same. If they have authored it, it means that Dr. Kamar has written the book, okay? Whereas here on the passage, he saw that you saw that he published the book. Authoring and publishing is a completely different story. Diba? Oh, Sir Joseph, that is why I am so confused all the time. It's because I thought author and publish are the same because they are connected with one topic. So I thought that's the answer. So I have written down true, true, true that you got the item incorrectly enough if you have written that. <laughs> okay, so if we're going to be looking at this one, guys, okay, the number one trick that the IELTS does to confuse the students is that they're going to make some of the words quite similar with one another, with the way that they sound, okay, with the structuring of the sentences, with the person, the noun. But then again, if you're going to look back carefully at the word that is highlighted, they're directly, they're directly the same, even if they are, even if they are connected with one another, no? Even if they are connected with Ay, sana all Sir Joseph may kakonect ngayong December. Tiwala lang anak, magpo-provide si Lord para sa iyo ng kakonect mo ngayong December. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, even if author, authoring and publishing are connected with one another, they're not exactly the same. Okay? So if it changed the context or even if it is not the same, automatically that is a false, false, false. Diba? Yan ang lagi niyong tatandaan, guys. Okay? All right. Oh, yeah. Publish and author is completely different. Yeah. Diba? Look at that. Okay? Now, here we go. Sir, you know what? I'm having a hard time thinking, okay, when it comes to false and not given. Okay. Let's talk about not given items. All righty. <clears throat> okay, sir. Paano naman po kapag ka not given? I have signifiers for not given items, guys. Believe me. Okay. How can you say if that is not given? Okay. First things first, guys. What I always tell my students is you cannot see it elsewhere. Okay. You cannot see it. You cannot see the statement anywhere. Okay. Kahit balibalik tarin mo yung papel mo at yung papel ng katabi mo, isama mo pa yung bato mo at saka yung atay mo, you will not be able to see the statement right there. So automatically, it's not given on the passage. Okay, that's quite easy. I know that, Sir Joseph, I know that. But there is one more, which usually confuses the students. Well, that's why they're making it a false instead of a not given. Here you go. Something... or someone is lacking. Okay, something or someone is lacking or missing. Okay, all right. And what's missing is it's usually a noun, a verb, an adjective, or an adverb, 
Okay. All right. So just to give uh, a quick illustration about this one, okay? Before we go to the example. Okay. Let's say on the passage, on the question, you saw orange, apple, and grapes. Okay. And then... In the passage, you saw something like this. Orange and grapes. Is there something that is lacking, my children? Is there something there that you cannot see anymore? In the question, you have orange, apples, and grapes, right? But then again, in the passage, there is only orange and grapes. So apple in this case, all right? Apple in this case was not given. That's the simple logic of it, okay? If something is missing, automatically that thing right there that is missing is not given. It is not given, my child. Okay? So, yeah, better be sensitive with things that are missing, lacking, no? Maging sensitive ka sa mga bagay na nawawala, sa mga taong nawawala sa buhay mo. Kasi nawala na sila, hindi mo pa napansin dahil masyado kang busy sa pagtatrabaho. Boy! Ayoko na po, boy! Charing <laughs> ko. Uh, sige. Busin natin yung mga trip nyo. Okay, from the second example, what if the word author is there but travel to Canada is not there? Is it going to be not given, Mama D? Yes, that will be not given because it, is, it did not state that she was, uh, what do you call this? She was traveling. Okay, Mama, what is something, what, what if is something is added? Yeah, if something is added to, then it's not given. Okay, if something was added to the question or the passage. It's not given, anak. Okay? Look at that. That's why some of the students are pretty confused when it comes to not given is that you are focused on thinking that not given is not is something that you just don't see on the passages. No. Sometimes they can go to just as simple as one word is missing, which makes it not given. No? Okay. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Sir Joseph, oh, gabi-gabi na. Kung ano na pa rin pinagsasabi. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this one. Ako na lang. Ako na lang ulit. Kinusto ko naman to, di ba? Kinusto ko naman to. <laughs> Sabi naman ng kuya JL mo. You had me at my best. She had me at my worst. But then again, you chose to extirpate my heart. Arap! Okay. Right. <laughs> Bakit parang gusto kong panoorin yung one more chance? Panoorin ko nga mamaya si Fufuy tsaka si Basya. Okay. Ala, Basya! Basya? May why? Ang spelling ng pangalan pala niya, mali tayo. Basya! Hindi, hindi Basya. Oh, hindi ganyan. Okay. Going back. Okay, I'll give you an example for this one. Mama, di yung energy mo kanina sa lecture kasing taas pa rin ang energy mo ngayon. <laughs> si Clarissa. <laughs> Thank you, anak.
Okay. Again, let's go back. All right, look at this, guys. Okay? Ganyan talaga siya. Sabi ni Sir Jeff Holden. <laughs> I've been doing my life ever since um last year. Ganito talaga ako, guys. Totoo to. Hindi na uubos yung energy ko. Kung minsan nga, hindi ko alam kung saan ko ini-store eh. Piling ko hindi goiter to. Piling ko energy ko to. Nandito lang talaga siya. Nakastay. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the sample. The statute of the study was written by M. Lorraine at the university. At the university, the law of the study was authored and published by M. Lorraine. Let's take a look at this one, guys. Okay, let's match. Okay, statute is the same as law. Okay, study is the same as the study. University is the same as university. Okay, what else? M. Lorraine is the same as M. Lorraine. But if you're going to be looking at this one, no? Written is the same as authored, but published in this case, guys, is not given. Okay, look at that, right? It's as easy as that, okay? When you think of in items, what I would want you to remember is to think, okay? Is to think of uh, the apple, uh, the orange apples and grapes logic okay if something is missing or lacking or if something is added like on the question you just saw apple and orange and then on the passage you saw apple orange and grapes then of course that is automatically not given okay it's not given okay guys not do not limit yourselves to the signifier that not given items are you cannot find it on the passage oh believe me may, Sino dito nakaka-relate? <clears throat> Nagpa-focus ka dun sa not given items, you cannot see it on the passages. So you did your reading exercises. And then once you check, something, something that you did false, uh, something that you have written down false, ang sagot not given. Diba? May nawawala, tapos ginawa mong false. Diba? Pero ang sagot sa keyword not given. Why? 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 Why, Mary? Why? Because, guys, not given items are something is missing or something is lacking. Diba? That's relatable. That is relatable. Okay? So, this is. Diba? Okay. Asumera ko, Mama D, kaya laging not given. Mama D, sorry, may tanong lang. Given naman sa passage, pero kulang sa question. Yes, not given pa rin. Given sa passage, pero kulang sa question, not given pa rin yun, anak. Okay? Alright. Kasi meron daw siya, kaya not given lang. Eh. Not given mo lahat. Kung five items, not given mo lahat. Alright, guys. Yeah. I'm widely awake now because of why. Why? Why, Mary? Why? When I was in another country studying, because I have a classmate, okay? She is on that ethnicity, okay? She belongs to the Black American ethnicity. <laughs> Ganyan sa lagi, pag kinakausap niya ako. Uh -oh. Joseph, girl, mm-hmm, na-a-a. Ayan siya. Tapos nag-aaway sila nung kasama ko kasi nga yung research namin, hindi niya natapos. Sabi niya, wah! Wah! Wah, Mary, wah! Tapos ako naman. Tapos ganyan siya ng ganyan. She's patting herself on her head because she's wearing a weave, right? Eh, makati yun, di ba? Wah! Ganyan sa lagi. Natatawa po asawa ko sa'yo, mama din nakikinig din. Hello! Hello, asawa niya. Kumusta ka? I hope you are enjoying my kalukohan. <laughs> All right, guys. No? Yeah. That accent. Yes, I, I I have a friend. Yes, she's one of my best friends. Diba? Richard. Hello, Richard. Kumusta ka naman? I'm Sarah. Sarah Alugbati. Diba? Kung ayaw mo, Sarah Nabati. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Just ko, kung kailan pa tapos na yung discussion, tsaka lumabas lahat ng kalukohan. Ano? Okay. So do remember, guys, on the reading, okay, in a nutshell for tonight's discussion, basically for the reading, you don't have to read everything, okay? Don't read everything. Don't waste your time with reading everything. Just read the first sentence, middle sentence, last sentence of the passages, okay? Follow the instructions. And if it's true, okay, it matches exactly, but some of the words are paraphrased. If it's false, some of the words are the same, but the context is different. And if not given, in the question, you're looking for apples and oranges, and then in the passage, you saw apple, oranges, and grapes, or the other way, around deva thanks for the life-saving tips oh you're welcome aeb my love 
That is our part one of the Reading Master Lecture. Guys, it's just the part one because next week on Friday, we will be discussing about the part two of the Reading Master Lecture with which I'm going to be teaching you about matching headings and identifying articles. No? I know you might have encountered this before, no? matching headings and identifying articles. You identify what article it is. Scientific article, camera bamba, may mga ganyan. Okay, now before we end our class for tonight, guys, okay, most importantly, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Know that every time you're having doubts with your IELTS preparation, know that every time you're afraid Okay, you are afraid of the outcome of your IELTS examination. The Lord has not given you that spirit of fear. Okay, basically has given you the power and of love and of a sound mind. When you say sound mind is, that is peace of mind. This is from the book of 2 Timothy, verse 1, uh, 1 verse 7. Okay, so let's just pray for you guys quickly. Okay, Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, to teach the students when it comes to their preparation here at IFNG for the reading of their IELTS examination. Lord, bless the admins of IFNG abundantly. Some of them are far from their family members and some of them are going to be spending their Christmas alone. But we know, Father, that you are them. You are there with them. You are there to strengthen them. Also, Lord, bless the students, of, of, bless the students who are watching right now that they will be getting that target score on the exam examination through your power and it will glorify your name my lord god and lord god thank you for the new students of elite intellect nine that i will see in class very very soon this is our prayer declaring victory in jesus name amen okay guys so congratulations in advance when it comes to your reading examination so again guys for those of you who still would want to inquire for our ielts review promo again from 7500 that is only 3500 per student and if you're going to be enrolling as a group of three and above pay only 3000 per student. You may inquire at our Facebook page which are now pasted at the Okay, we are now we it's on the chat box of Zoom and it's, it, it it is at the comment section of our Facebook live. Okay, so guys, so happy to be here again. See you again next week for our live discussion here at IFNG for the part 2 with which I'm going to be teaching you about, okay? I will be teaching you about our <clears throat> Uh, what I call this about our matching headings and identifying paragraphs. Thank you, Mommy D. Very jolly and energetic. We learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, mga anak. Okay, you're welcome, JR, everyone. Okay, Genji, everyone. You're welcome. Okay, so before I return this one to Sir Jeff, in behalf of, of, of Sir Jello, Mom Tanya, Ate Genji, Mom Zaya, Mom Charm, and Mom Jarlene, this is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you next week. And for those students who will be inquiring for the promo, I'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a great day, everyone. Sir Jeff, back to you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, um, Sir Clint. And I would like to add, yeah, I will just add this to all, to all the members who will take exam in write, in reading, actually, just keep on practicing. I, before, I use um, IELTS online test that's um, similar with um computer based so during my practice i just got only four five and really feel uh feel i felt like i'm gonna i cannot make it but we will do just keep on practice um at the end um your result ninyo, you will find that uh ang ganda. actually i got it Nico, my imagine yun. <laughs> so practice lang yeah <laughs> and then yeah thank you and in behalf also of um, Gladys, Marvin, and Manuel, my co-admins here in IFNG. Thank you so much and see you again next week on the other day. See okay, you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.